Hello everybody. Well, this is my studio as you can see. It's undergoing some changes. I have taken down my wooden wall where I hang all my stuff and presently they're all hanging around my window. <laughs> and yeah, it's pretty messy. I'm gonna have to do some scraping, some painting and maybe some shifting stuff around. At the same time, I'm dealing with an eye infection here. So that's not so fun. But that's not what we're going to talk about today. We're going to do a sketchbook tour and previously I have done my 2021 sketchbooks. So I thought why not just finish the rest of the 2021 year. So we're just going to continue with this one today. The cover is just a colour test paper I was using while I was painting a picture book at that time. A sticker I got from my daughter and we visited Shake Shack that month. All these little things spark memories. Some stamping here, using this alphabet stamp set I got long ago. I take it out once in a while. And these were made from stamps I made myself. I cut out foam sheets and stuck them to blocks of wood. I really like the textures they give me. These are some things that spark joy for me. And this is the back, just some random drawings. These are my wife's old checks and my daughter wrote messages for me on them. I find it rather hard to throw away these things. Early 5th September morning, I brought my family to climb a hill, the tallest hill in Singapore, about 164 meters. I know it's not too tall, but that's what we have in Singapore. Each panel is drawn with a ballpoint as the events happened or shortly after. How am I able to draw so quickly? I just drew smaller. Actually in this one I felt I could have drawn it a bit bigger. And I added watercolours only after I got home. Dinner at a Peranakan restaurant with my parents. I am Peranakan by the way. And this is one restaurant that serves really good Peranakan food in my opinion. I did the big shapes first and then the smaller shapes. I first drew my mom. When I wanted to draw my dad, he went to the toilet. Then the food came. So he didn't get drawn. By the way, if you want to learn how to draw quicker and simpler, check out my class on Skillshare. Now what's this? Ah, just my experience at a pricey coffee cafe. And this is one of the rare times I drew a scene from a movie. It was a pretty fun movie. Quick diary entry. My wife, my daughter and I went on a staycation and my son hadn't been born yet. At that time, my daughter's teeth were really loose. The following pages were done during those few days of hotel stay. For this comic, I was trying to do something different. I used pencils instead of pens, but I found that my pencil lines were too light and it was pretty hard to read here. On this page, I made the pencil lines darker so it became more readable. Still, pencil and this bumpy paper didn't seem to go. This was still during the pandemic and I was trying to write down my experience of me trying not to cough while I was in a nice quiet bookstore. I thought maybe I could distract myself with an ear itch instead. Hmm, looks like it worked. So yeah, during the staycation, my daughter had two teeth that were getting looser and looser day by day. And this is how it actually looked like. And we were talking about it during the staycation. So during the holiday, we went to a restaurant and while she was eating a rosti, this happened. We brought my daughter to fly a kite. Yeah, I drew her two times here. This is lunch at a coffee shop. During COVID time, everyone still needed to wear a mask. 
especially the people cooking. I was trying combining pen and color pencil here. Yeah, the color pencil on this bumpy paper isn't working so well. I think color pencils work better on smoother paper. Finally going back to pen and ink, random thoughts as a comic. It was so nice to go back to pen lines. I was figuring out how I could combine acrylic paint with pen lines. Again, just experimenting. This was after the staycation. My daughter had to go back to school and I'm back to drawing scenes outside her school while waiting to pick her up. This is me drawing a salad place during lunch. I do like the line variation on this page. The pen I was using is this no-name Fude pen I got from this small family-run art store in Singapore. This is how it draws. And this is a random comic. Sometimes I get an idea during the day and I want to draw it out as quickly as possible. So in this one, this guy finds that his bicycle has been unlocked and a neighbor finds that her gate is unlocked. And in the last panel, a girl discovers that she can unlock things with her mind. I think I got the idea because I forgot to lock my bike. Trying to draw people that were moving. Good practice if you want to train yourself to draw quicker. Picking my daughter from school again and drawn from my car. He was practicing drawing textures and I was drawing from my car in the car park before work. Print making experiments. Oh, and here I was thinking up an icon to represent me or my company. And as you know, I eventually went for something like this. This is actually my daughter's idea. This is how she actually draws me. The dad with the spiky beard. A quick diary of what I did on the 29th of September. Looks like my son was going to be due in 14 weeks. And looks like I bought a bolster for my daughter online. Just everyday stuff. But as you can see, I try to include the wide mid shots and close up shots. A random comic. I'm sure this comic has a deeper meaning to it. For this one, I used the vintage Parker 51 with the really broad stub nib. I like discovering the different kinds of lines that different nibs give me. On a weekend, I put my bicycle at the bicycle shop to get it fixed, and then I drew the bicycle shop. Let me color this in Procreate. Three days later, I was jogging to the bicycle shop to pick up my bike again. It looks like I got there five minutes before the shop closed. I picked up my bike and on the way back, I was cycling through very dark tunnels along the jogging track. A very quick and loose comic of when my daughter kept taking my bolster to her bed every night. And then after she slept, I'll take it back. Planning a story that I've still yet to draw out. And what's this? I was experimenting with printmaking using Play-Doh or Plasticine and other things like bubble wrap, just playing around. And in that month of September, my daughter and I kept patronizing this purple rice yogurt shop at the train station near our place. It was our favorite purple rice yogurt store among all we have tried. Look at all these stamps. Sadly, the store closed down. And so my daughter had to make her own imaginary version at home. I hope it opens again somewhere in Singapore. And that's my September sketchbook. So as you can see, I use my sketchbooks to improve my drawing skills. 
but it's also where I keep precious memories. Thanks for watching.